There's a brand new plugin that just released that allows you to add 3D depth to any photo you throw at it inside of Final Cut Pro in Apple Motion. And the craziest part is, it's completely free. This plugin is called Deep Pan, created by Omotion over on the FX Factory store. To use Deep Pan, you'll just come into Final Cut Pro and import your different photos you want to work with. Select all of your photos, then in Spatial Conform, change the type from Fit over to Fill. Now that we've done that, we need to go into each photo, right click on it, and select New Compound Clip. You can also achieve that with Option G. Make sure they're in their own separate compound clips. Now that I have all of these in their compound clips, they are ready to go. Let's head over to our effects and we'll locate Deep Pan. I'm going to apply this onto my photo. And if I were to push play, we can already see it has a basic animation, but there is so much more we can do with this. Taking a look at the screen, you should notice three points, point A, point B, and the zoom point, which is kind of hard to see, especially with this particular backdrop. To work with Deep Pan, we're just going to drag point A over here to the far left and point B over here to the bottom right. After that, I can adjust where I want to zoom in. So maybe we want to zoom in onto this mountain here in the center. From there, we can head over to the Deep Pan settings. And there are a lot of options to get into here. I strongly recommend you go check out FX Factory's channel if you want to learn more about all of these tools. But some quick highlights are for one, you can change the depth map source. So right now it's going to generate in live mode. That's what you're typically going to use. But if you've generated your own depth map from a photo, you can use that with this plugin, which I think is really cool. There's also a cool looping mode. So you can loop the animation. Let's go ahead and apply that onto this particular shot. And you can change the easing. And there are so many different easing options to choose from. I can't believe this plugin is free. Underneath that, you have point A and point B that you can adjust numerically if you want to. I prefer the on-screen controls, but that's totally up to you. You can also preview the depth map, and anything that is light in this depth map is going to be closer to your camera. Anything that is dark is going to be further. It's using machine learning to generate this image, and it's doing it crazy fast, so that's really exciting. We can also adjust the depth map feather. You'll notice that as I bring that feather up, it's kind of blurring it a bit more. So that can reduce some of the sharp edges you might see. If we bring it back down, you'll see that we're getting a lot more contrast. I like to leave this around 10 to 20, but it's really up to you. Underneath that is the displacement. So I'll disable preview depth map, and we can drag up how much this image is being displaced by the depth map, which is super cool. This is going to be on a shot by shot basis, but for this, we'll leave it at around 11. Maybe, maybe we'll go up to like 17%. You can also choose to zoom in or zoom out, and you can choose how much you are zooming in, which is pretty cool. Underneath that is the option to add some shake to this. So if you want it to feel a little bit more handheld, you can drag these settings up. I'm going to leave them at their default. I find that that looks pretty good. So now that we've adjusted our settings, I'll go ahead and push play, and you can see that it zooms in, and then it zooms back out to its original position. So it's creating that loop effect because we set it to the loop mode. Let's go ahead and set it back over to auto. And if I push play, now we just have a simple zoom in with some nice simple depth here on the side. And that's one thing I would like to point out with this plugin. It works particularly well when you have a strong focal point like you do in this photo. So when everything's kind of pointing to that center, it's really going to work well, but it can also work like with these rocks. So let's apply deep pan. Let's set point A to the bottom right corner and point B to the top left. Let's adjust our zoom point to zoom in on that focal point up there in the top left. Let's change the easing. So something like exponential out might look pretty cool. And we can adjust our depth map feather and bring up the distortion amount, or I should say displacement. Let's push play and see how that looks. Maybe it's warping a bit too much there on the side. So we could drag up our feather and bring back the displacement. There we go. That's looking a lot better. So you can see how that gives us a really interesting result with that easing. Let's go ahead and jump to this next shot. And there's something I want to point out with how you set up these different photos. This is a problem I ran into when I was trying to set up this tutorial and I thought I would share it. If we were to say, adjust the position of this compound clip, I'll just drag this up and then we apply deep pan onto it. Because of the way Final Cut Pro works with effects, this has been reconformed to 16 by nine. And so we're gonna get the, this big black bar here at the bottom or wherever I drag this to. That's just inherent with how Final Cut Pro works, but there's a super easy workaround. 
and that is to make sure that you set your photos to their final position before you throw them into a compound clip. What I mean by that is I'm going to push Command Shift G and break that out of the compound clip. So now it's just the photo. We'll go ahead and adjust this like we did previously. So I'll just drag that up using Shift T to get my transform tool. Then before we apply deep pan, I'll push Option G and put it into its compound clip. Then if we apply deep pan, we no longer have that black bar issue. So just make sure that you set your photos to their end destination where you want them before you throw them into a compound clip. Now that we've done that, let's throw position A here on the left and position B here on the right. We'll set our zoom to this door. Let's drag up the displacement a bit and let's go ahead and see how that plays out. That's adding some interesting depth to it. Maybe let's drag up the depth feather and maybe we'll zoom in a little bit more here. And that's just creating a really interesting result. Now, obviously this isn't perfect. You'll see there's some kind of weird warping here. You're just gonna wanna dial in the settings until you get past that kind of weird warping. But that is looking really, really cool. And I think this is a great way to spice up your slideshows or documentary films, especially since it's free. Last but not least, I wanna show you what it's like when you're working with a particular subject. This is where things can break down. Again, this is free, so there's no point to get really upset about it. But if we wanted to use deep pan on this subject, I'll apply that. And I'm just gonna really drag up the displacement so you can see where things kind of fall apart. There's a lot of strange warping happening on our subject here. So the FX Factory video points out that you kind of want to align point A and point B together to get past that. So let's just take point A and we'll add it to his head and point B down to his legs. And let's also add the zoom maybe more on our subject here. So now that all of that is aligned, it's going to make it a lot less distorted. And most of the distortion's only going to happen here on the outer edges. It's not perfect, but it is still very cool. And you know what, let's even make this a little bit straighter like that. So while it can work with your subjects, you want to be really cautious with how you use this tool and make sure you just align the two point A and point B to kind of get rid of some of that warping. So that was a look at deep pan. I cannot believe it's free. That is absolutely ridiculous. And I imagine the idea is Omotion's hoping you'll check out some of their other tools and plugins over on the FX Factory store. This video was not sponsored. I was just super impressed with this free tool. I would also love it if you could help me reach 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year. If we reach that 100K mark, I will disable all ads on my channel for all of 2026, giving you an ad-free learning experience. So if you're interested in helping me reach that goal, consider subscribing down below for more Final Cut Pro content. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.